LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, lift off conditions looking pretty good. ATS is ready for launch. Ignition. Lift off. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten, nine, eight. Side booster ignition. Six, five, four, three, two, one. T minus thirty seconds. Minus 15 seconds. Falcon 9 is configured for flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Q behind us. We are throttling the engines back up to full power. We have five events coming up in quick succession. Uh, first up is going to be MECO, which stands for Main Engine Cutoff. At that point, the nine engines on the bottom of the first stage will shut off in preparation for uh, the next event, which is SES-1, or Second Engine Start-1. Or excuse me, uh, the next event is stage separation, where the two stages will separate from one another. It backs chilling. The first stage will perform a flip to make its way back to our landing zone, and then we'll uh, start with SCS-1, which is second engine start one, where that single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite and continue to carry our SARA-1 satellite into orbit. For today's landing, the first stage will, uh, after it performs its, its flip, will perform a boost back burn, and then after the boost back burn begins, we'll have fairing deploy. Miko, stage separation confirmed. Stage one, boost back burn is starting. <laughs> Fairing separation confirmed. Awesome. So we saw main engine cut off, and we saw the we saw the two stages separate from one another. We did get audio confirmation of the second engine start. Uh, on the second stage um, Merlin vacuum engine. Um, that's pretty much the last call out that we'll uh, hear from the second stage. Uh, so we'll just focus on the first stage. Uh, that's what you're seeing on screen right now as it's performing its boost back burn. Um, it pretty much flipped and is heading back uh, where it came from. Um, it's gonna be attempting its third and landing. stage one, boost back shut down. In a few minutes. So that boost burn did wrap up. In order to complete today's landing for the first stage, it has two more burns left. Next up is the entry burn, where three of the Merlin engines will reignite, and this will help to slow the stage down 
as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. After that, we'll have the landing burn. This is this occurs just a few seconds before we land, and this is also the period where we'll deploy Vehicle our landing trajectory legs. Nominal. This is a view from inside the inner stage. And this view is uh, from the top of the first stage. Looking downward, you can see two of our four hypersonic grid fins there. Uh, those, as we get closer, will begin to pivot and uh, tilt. Uh, that also helps steer the first stage back to its targeted landing zone. So we're about 30 seconds away from the beginning of our second of two burns for this first stage. Vehicle trajectory nominal. At the bottom left-hand side of the screen is a velocity gauge of the first stage. It's traveling about 3,500 kilometers an hour now, but once we begin the boost back burn, you'll start to see that number decrease. Um, and then after the boost back burn, or no, excuse me, not after the boost back burn ends, the, after the entry burn ends, uh, you'll continue to see the speed decrease as we hit the, the denser parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Stage one entry burn has started. And there's the entry burn. So three of the nine engines on the first stage have relit. As you can see, we are indeed slowing down the first stage. So the entry burn has completed. And stage one entry burn shut down. And in about a minute, we'll have the landing burn. And we'll see if we can land this booster for the third time. Stage one FTS is saved. Right, this is such a cool view of stage one is transonic. Going back through the cloud layer. Stage one landing burn has started. Stage two FTS is saved. Terminal guidance. Landing legs have deployed. Welcome back, Falcon 9. That is and the third is landed, landing successful landing for this LZA. booster. It also marks our 125th overall successful recovery of an orbital class rocket, including both Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy first stages. With that, at the request of our customer, we are going to bring our webcast to a close. Thank you to Airbus for entrusting us with today's mission. It's been an exciting 24 hours with this doubleheader Starlink followed by SARA-1. If you're looking for some added entertainment this evening, be sure to tune in for our third launch in less than 48 hours, launch of Global Stars FM 15 from Florida at 12.27 a.m. Eastern on Sunday. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.